Why is it that when people don't like a fighter leading up to the fight, whoever the fighter they don't like, they always say the other opponent's going to win or it's going to be hard. I don't know about this. This is what happened in my situation with Terrence Crawford. I know people that tell me that Kel Brook is the bigger man biggest what way Terrence ever faced. Kell Brook has never been stopped without an injury. Has he even touched the canvas? Has his ass touched the canvas before? He's coming off three wins. Kell Brook. And He's looking good. He's looking real good. I don't think Terrence should have took that fight. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. They know I like Terrence Crawford. I'm getting phone calls when the fight starts. And Kell Brook looking good, man. I'm telling you Terrence ain't going to win. I'm telling you Terrence ain't going to win. I'm getting text messages. With googly eyes, like, woo, your boy, what's going on? The moment Terrence Crawford stopped this boy, do you know now it's fake? It's a fix. Kell Brooks washed up. Just take the man's credit from him. Don't just say, you know what, man, this man is elite. I'm hearing it's fixed. I'm like, we got instant replay. You seen his jaw get cracked? You seen his eyes look? He looked like a a, a a space cadet. He was hurt, literally hurt. And he's in there with one of the best finishers in the world at the welterweight division. He finishes the job, and now you still want to? You still don't want to give Terrence Crawford his credit? You're seeing people online. When some, this is what I learned by watching boxing. When somebody don't like a fighter, their narrative was 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 switch on a dime. Leading up to the fight, oh he ain't gonna win, he ain't gonna win, he ain't gonna win, he can't beat this dude. Soon as he start getting paws put on the guy, now it's a fix. It's a cheat. It's it, it happens with all, with the best fighters in the world. Every good fighter they do that they do that. This man is the truth. I want to see the Errol Spence fight just like everybody else. I don't think Errol Spence wants to fight. You see why? I didn't think Thurman wanted to fight. He wanted $10 million to fight Terrence Crawford. That don't even make no sense. Thurman had surgery. He's been off for a while. You know, you don't have no belts. Why don't you just go ahead and fight just to get your name back in the in, in, in the mix? But they know. They know what they're dealing with. Anyway, uh, I thought the fight would... I didn't know. I didn't think that Terrence Crawford was going to stop Kell Brook, but I thought he was going to beat him. Definitely. Convincingly, uh, Kell Brook just got a caught with a punch he didn't see, and it cost him. It happened so quick. He even said it. He said he wants to go out on the shield, but you know, once you hurt like that, and uh, you know, let's say they didn't call the fight off and let him get knocked down again. I mean, what are we doing here? Man went to Southpaw, took away his jab, countering over his jab. Did the same stuff. He did the same stuff to him that he did to Amir Khan. It's almost textbook. This man's the truth. Kell Brook will be back. I don't think none of them other guys are beating. And I do want to see uh, Kell Brook 
Spence rematch. Had he not got that eye injured, Spence was going to get beat. He was whooping the man the first seven rounds easy. Beat boxing him easy, easy work. He actually was looking good against Triple G. Got caught. Ah, looking good. So it is what it is. Terrence Crawford is just different. He's different. Now, that's not to say that he can't that he's unbeatable. I'm just saying he's different. Terrence Crawford gets ex- excited. He wants to trade. That might be his Achilles heel. But as of right now, I think he's the man. Uh, he, they talking about fighting Manny Pacquiao. I get it, but I don't want to see that fight. I want to see uh, Errol Spence uh, next year. But anyway, tell me what y'all think.